American foundations spend roughly $70 billion a year in grants, or make $70 billion a year in grants. Less than 2% of that goes for work to strengthen democracy. It's, it's kind of stunning. Um, and that's broadly defined. I mean, that's the most generous way of looking at the data. And on the other hand, if we think about all the things that foundations are trying to accomplish, having a functioning, vibrant democracy is critical to almost every one of them. So we are, as a foundation at the Rockefeller Brothers, really making an investment in democracy. We, our current grant-making budget includes 13% every year now for American democracy reforms. And as a result of the work of this commission, I'm, I'm very pleased to say that our board of trustees just three weeks ago um, agreed to an additional allocation of $14 million over the next four years, simply to help the campaign for these recommendations to be accomplished between now and 2026. And so we are gonna use the $14 million that RBF is putting into this we hope to leverage contributions from other philanthropies and individual uh, philanthropists to build you know, a multi-donor commitment to this important process of reinventing our democracy. And, and we're getting a good response. We've been meeting with donors in the last week from a number of major foundations who are quite enthusiastic about this. And I think we're gonna be able to leverage up the, the funding that RBF is offering uh, in order to raise more money. And then that money will be used for a variety of things, including supporting our champion organizations that are helping us lead the work on each of the individual recommendations. So one of the things we hope will happen as a result of this is that American Promise will be seen as a good destination for philanthropic resources to advance the constitutional amendment on, on money and politics.